I can't fathom why I harbored such negative connotations towards this iconic seaside town for many years. Maybe it stems from hazy recollections of teenage trips or youthful escapades, or potentially it was genuinely lackluster back in the day but has undergone an impressive transformation since. Or maybe it's a blend of both experiences. Regardless, my resolve has flipped completely, from a two-decade-old stubbornness vowing to steer clear of Tenby, to now yearning to call it home. It dawns on me that I should have revisited much earlier to bask in its splendor far longer. Tenby is idyllic for a plethora of reasons, whether you fancy exploring numerous welcoming spots to dine and imbibe, strolling to any of the four beaches just a stone's throw from the downtown area, admiring the picturesque, brightly colored houses poised atop cliff tops which are celebrated globally, or simply embracing the sheer grandeur of surrounding Pembrokeshire. It also fits the bill perfectly for many types of holidaymakers, it suits families with little ones, squads aiming for a lively weekend, or a young couple seeking the flawless combination of serene shores, ancient walkways, rural rambles, and spirited evening vibes. Little wonder then, that Tenby clinched a spot among Britain's best seaside towns in 2024, reports The Express. Tenby has woven itself into the fabric of my life as well as in those of my kin and comrades. If relocation isn't viable, then the next best scenario is regular visits. To ensure this, my friends and I secure a rental annually while family summer retreats here have become a cherished ritual. When in Tenby, do indulge in, Beaches Tenby is renowned for its accessibility to four diverse beaches right from the heart of the town in mere minutes. North and South Beach offer expansive sands at low tide and impressive surf at high tide, with North Beach being marked by an iconic jagged rock formation. Between these, Harbour Beach houses the local fishing boats, while Castle Beach rests snugly between rocky ledges, overlooked by a striking clifftop fort. As for Caldy Island, it stands out as one of Britain's revered holy islands, steeped in monastic history that dates back centuries. The current monastery is a pristine white building in the Italianate style originating from 1906, alongside it is the older St. Ltd's church from the 13th century. Aerial view of the dry harbour and large sandy beach at low tide in Tenby, Pembrokeshire, image, image, Getty, however, it's the island's landscapes and hidden treasures, including horses, fields, and even a working chocolate factory where visitors can purchase confectionery, that truly captures the spirit of Caldy Island. Once you've ventured to the farthest point of the island, you can soak in the tranquil atmosphere while gazing out at the sea. The journey to Caldy is made by boat from Tenby, with regular services operating to and from Tenby's harbour. Upon arrival at Caldy, you're greeted by a pristine, near-white sandy beach that wouldn't seem out of place in the Caribbean. With most visitors flocking to the beaches back in Tenby, this could be your chance to enjoy a secluded beach all to yourself. Exploring Pembrokeshire Tenby is merely one of the many gems in Pembrokeshire's crown. There's so much to see and do here, but let's touch on a few highlights. Firstly, there are numerous stunning beaches dotted along its breathtaking coastline, including Freshwater West, home to Dobby's Grave from Harry Potter, and Barra Fundal, previously voted as one of the UK's top beaches. You can trek to Barra Fundal from Bowshurston, passing through serene lily ponds along the way. Nearby lies the rugged St. Govan's Head, which houses one of the most extraordinary features on Britain's coast, St. Govan's Chapel, constructed into the cliff face in the 13th or 14th century, with powerful waves crashing beneath. This corner of Pembrokeshire also hosts the Stackpole Nature Reserve, while further north, you'll discover the sparse beauty of the rolling Priestley Hills. 
Karu Castle reflected in waters, image, image, Getty, ancient and old landmarks Pembrokeshire's rich history is evident in its numerous man-made landmarks that date back centuries. One such landmark is the Pentrevon Burial Chamber, a relic from the Neolithic, New Stone Age, era when our forebears interred their dead in tombs of this kind. The county also boasts several castles, largely due to the Lansker Line, which historically divided the Welsh in the north of the county from the Norman and Flemish settlers in the south. One notable castle is Guru Castle, majestically perched above the tidal waters where the Guru River merges with the channel. The tidal range here is so significant that the view can drastically change depending on the time of day you visit. The walls surrounding the nearby tidal mill are perfect for crabbing. Simply drop your net and bait, and you're almost certain to catch a crab. When it comes to dining and drinking in Tenby, the town doesn't disappoint. Thanks to its influx of tourists, Tenby offers several eateries and pubs, some of which are exceptional. Colorful sunset over Pentarevon Burial Chamber, Image, Image, Getty, Tap and Dan is one such place, a hybrid barbecue joint and craft beer haven, where meat is grilled on open flames right before your eyes. In one of Tenby's oldest and most charming buildings, you'll find Plantagenet House, located next to the town's Tudor Merchant House and partly dating back to medieval times. Sergeant's Lane is home to the Harbour Brewery. Once an abandoned and overgrown alleyway, it has been transformed into a charming cobbled lane where you can order a drink directly from the brewery and enjoy some people watching. There's also a pub on site. As you stroll down towards the harbor, you'll come across a shack selling grab sandwiches and lobster rolls, as well as the stowaway, a hidden gem offering coffee and cake, tucked away underground in an old archway. When it comes to accommodation in Tenby, there are plenty of options. From chain hotels like Premier Inn and Travelodge to independent establishments, many of which are located along the seafront. Sergeant's Lane in Tenby rejuvenated with new bars and a brewery, image, image, Getty, however, the real charm lies in discovering a unique house or converted apartment on the seafront, which can be found on platforms like Booking. Com or Airbnb. Many of the vibrant seafront homes that Tenby is renowned for are available for rent. My family and I stayed in a spacious flat just steps away from the harbor and beach and there are entire homes with sea views available for hire. However, it's worth bearing in mind that, like many areas in Wales and the UK, Pembrokeshire faces a significant issue with properties being purchased and rented out to tourists, rather than serving as homes for the local community.